in the government is planning a new empowered committee to tackle the problem of bad loans. Ron Ajay Banerjee is here with the details. Ron. Uh, well, essentially, listen, this is a vexatious issue and of course there are a lot of ideas that are coming into play right now. But one of the ideas with which the government and the government is seriously considering this is essentially to identify four or five key individuals who will be part of a committee. And, uh, and, and this is going to be an empowered committee. Who exactly these four or five individuals will be is still something, uh, uh, you know, that we need to wait and watch. The government is still trying to sort of, you know, you know get its, uh, uh, you know, you know to try and understand you know, who the right individuals would be. Uh, this committee will then, uh, with the help of these representatives, because already, as the finance minister also said, that 30 to 50 of the top defaulters, you know, that list the government already knows. The big takeaway from the conversation I had with the senior government source is that there is not going to be a one-size-fit-all sort of an approach. Uh, here, the government will, you know, sort of, will sort of tailor make uh, solutions to each of the individual cases, and will be engaging in these long discussions, negotiations with the uh, with the top 40, 50 defaulters. Here, I am told that this new committee that will be, you know, th that the government is considering to set up, will override the existing committees, the existing sort of, you know, uh, frameworks uh, and and and, and uh, frameworks that we already have, like the CDR, S4A, the Joint Lenders Forum, for instance, and this committee will be empowered to take decisions. So clearly the big sense I got is that there is a political will this time around to tackle the issue of, uh, uh, you know, of bad loans. I think we also have Mr. Uh, K.C. Chakrabarti, the former Deputy Governor, Reserve Bank. Uh, Mr. Chakrabarti, uh, thank you very much for joining us uh, on CNBC TV 18. Sir, we know it's a vexatious issue, something that you've also had to deal with during your tenure as the Deputy Governor. Uh, I mean, how would you sort of assess the government's efforts so far in the recent past to tackle the issue of NPA? You see, look, it is not NPAs are not due to only due to government policy. You see, we have to understand that NPA is due to a variety of factors in the system. In fact, what I say, NPA mm -hmm. is non-performing administration. Maybe government administration does not mm -hmm. work. The regulatory system does not work. Bank's administration does not work. Borrower's administration does not work. Now, in that process, you see, look, it is a, you require a systemic reform. So, in my view, that resolution, what government is doing is correct. That individual account wise, you have to understand. But, and it has to be resolved for individual case wise. But it cannot be done by a separate committee. Look, it is an issue between bankers and borrowers. Now, if they are not able to do that, you have to improve the system. You have to replace the existing people. And you have to bring the new people. But you cannot do it by a separate committee outside the thing. I, I have, okay, you can make efforts, but how much it will be successful or mm -hmm. you may be putting too much resources. You see, look, whenever you do a selective approach, the problem what happens, we put uh, disproportionate resources on that, a sacrifice will be more, but that is not going to solve the problem of NPA. What happened that Absolutely. you have to tackle the problem mm -hmm. system as a whole. Even if we say the 60 mm -hmm. accounts are solved, still the new problem will be created. Because, you see, look, unless you make the reform in the entire system, and for that, what we need to... Because I have my doubt. When you are saying NPA, what is NPA? Which assets we are? 50 assets government will select out of what? I don't know. What is NPA is not clear. How much is the NPA is Absolutely, not clear. Absolutely, sir. So, yeah, absolutely. In fact, uh, you know, I... Right, right, right. In fact, of course, you know, so the big question really is that who will decide on the amount of haircut, let's say, a bank is going to take? Who will sign on that dotted line, you know, without the fear of central, you know, of CBI or any other institution pulling them up? Do you think that is also fundamentally the issue? The fact is we all know, we all need to address the elephant in the room, but the, but the point is that nobody is really, you know, empowered enough you know, so to speak, you know, to take the decision that, okay, this bank will take a haircut and, uh, you know, and then, and then move on. You think that is the fundamental issue, sir? But I don't agree. I, we see, look, we have worked in the bank, we have taken a decision, we have taken a haircut. If you say existing bank management are not able to decide, then they should not work. You should remove them. And I don't agree a commercial decision, a commercial entity, a, 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 and a person who is serving there will not take. Uh, the, uh, now, why they are not taking, if there is some genuine reason, we must remove those obstacles. But you cannot bring another committee to do that job. And that's what I don't think it is a right approach. Right, to sir. That thing. 
Fair enough, sir. In fact, this is, a, you know, again, you know, we need to caveat. This is an idea that the government is toying with at this stage. So we don't know eventually whether this is, you know, this is what is going to make, you know, sort of, you know, come out and be, uh, you know, be the main thing that the government is going to go ahead with. So essentially, sir, you're saying that, you know, that the matter should be essentially left to, you know, the company concerned and the banks and the government sort of should not have a big role to play in this. And the government must have a big role in facilitating. But you cannot replace the existing bank management, the existing system. You see, even the borrowers, whatever it may be, whatever the system, you cannot replace that. You see, you cannot, you can do it for this 50 accounts. Maybe first thing is that how do you select? Maybe 60th account is more, it is easier to resolve. Now, maybe first 10 accounts are not at all resolvable. Now, there are many other issues out there. You have to, and uh, even if 50 accounts are resolved, the NPA will remain in the system, new NPS will be created. So we require in the totality, Absolutely. find out a solution, and you must facilitate for doing the first 50. It requires a little bit more resources. But system has to be put but into the place. But you do agree that, you know, that, that, that whatever the final solution is, one needs to engage with each of these companies on a you know on a on a one on one basis and you cannot have a one size fit all approach do you agree with that uh, the, the government is no thinking so? there. it is absolutely mm -hmm. it is just like sickness if somebody is sick you cannot say i will mm. fit the sickness you must find out who is sick for what purpose is sick what has happened what has gone wrong and then you can say that what is the treatment it cannot be and you cannot treat the sickness just like a uh, like that, in a similar way, you can uh, treat the NPA like. It has to be done individually, yes. If the cases are identical, the solution will be identical. If the problems are identical, then the solution will be identical. Not everything are not identical. Two things in the universe Absolutely cannot be the so. same. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Chakrabarti, for taking us through this. Of course, going by what the finance minister told us yesterday, there will be a solution. The government is going to come up something that both the RBI and the government are working together. And the final, finally, we will know what that plan is in a few days from now. Until we.